Hello and welcome to Double Healthiness. Today, I want to share with you six different ways to use agar to create healthy, fun, and creative desserts. Before I started, I made a schematic sketch of the design that I wanted to create and listed out all the ingredients that I would need. I wanted to have color and variety, so I chose fruits like pink and white dragon fruit, yellow and green kiwi, cherries, pink guava, banana, and mangoes. And for liquids, I chose hibiscus extract or roselle water, coffee, chocolate, and matcha tea. For me, this sketch was crucial in the planning because I wanted to make all six desserts at the same time, and this layout served as a map to show me which order I needed to pour the layers and which ones I could pour together at the same time. Agar is a plant-based gelatin that is derived from red algae. It is a standard ingredient in Asian cuisine, but has recently gained popularity in Western cuisine as well as a plant-based substitute to gelatin, which is derived from animal products. Agar has many health benefits. It contains virtually no calories, no cholesterol. It is fat-free and is 80% fiber. It is ideal for weight loss because it smooths the gut lining, absorbs glucose, and dissolves cholesterol before it helps you to pass through your digestive tract. There are so many good benefits for this superfood, and I'll make a full post on it later. Here's the final design. Orange and cherry creamsicle, pink and white dragon dream, guava and mango surprise, black forest magic, banana split, and matcha Mount Fuji. After my schematic sketch, I set up my mise en place, which is a French cooking term used in cooking school referring to having all the components necessary for a dish measured, ready, and prepared, and in place. The step is really important because once the cooking process starts, you won't have time to run around the kitchen to look for things. I am using a silicone mold for this agar dessert. There are six molds, so I'll be filling each one with a different recipe. I'm lining up the ingredients that I'll be using according to the schematic design I created. Next to the molds, I'll know what goes where. Agar is an Asian beauty secret because in addition to facilitating weight loss, the collagen also helps to improve joints, hair, and skin elasticity. So this is what my final mise en place looks like, and everything is ready to go. Next, I will be preparing all the liquids for the recipe. I have grouped these together into one batch. I have matcha green tea, banana coconut milk puree, pink dragon fruit puree, and mango puree. Hibiscus or roselle tea, coffee, and chocolate with almond milk. The agar powder to liquid ratio that I'll be using is one teaspoon agar powder to one cup liquid. I have prepared the individual one cup portions of each liquid and I'm adding one teaspoon of agar powder to each and I'll let it bloom or rehydrate for 10 minutes without stirring. Unlike gelatin, agar requires heat to activate. Place the agar solution over heat and let it simmer while stirring quickly to make sure that the agar is integrated fully with the rest of the liquid. I am assembling this dessert in reverse order, so I'm placing all the fruits that I want to showcase on the top at the bottom of the silicone mold. I have so many different layers and I need to cook each batch separately. This part requires a lot of coordination and it's a quick process because the agar simmers quickly and it only takes a few minutes for it to harden and solidify. You don't have to wait for the agar to completely solidify before adding the next layer. You can just start adding the next layer as soon as it starts to firm up. In fact, it's better to add the separate layers before they completely solidify because this gives them an opportunity for the different layers to bond together. Otherwise, they might break apart. I'm pouring out the last drops and now we are ready to let it cool and then refrigerate. Let it rest on a flat surface in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the agar is cool and set. I ran an offset spatula gently around the edge of the mold to release the agar. Next, I placed a piece of parchment paper over the mold and added a sturdy flat surface to the top and quickly flipped the mold over. The secret to a perfect release is to allow an air bubble to slip in and move to the bottom of the mold, and the air will help push the agar out. Decorating the dessert is my favorite part. 
I keep lots of edible flowers in my garden for this very purpose. This is a beautiful branch of lace lavender, a bud of purple ginseng flower, a baby sprig of mint leaves. One of my favorite ways to decorate a plate is to sprinkle a thin layer of matcha powder on the bottom. I thought this would be the perfect base for my Fuji Mountain. I called this dessert Matcha Mount Fuji. And also a perfect place for me to add a figurine of May from the animated film called My Neighbor Totoro. Another easy plating idea is to use cocoa powder. This agar dessert was my favorite flavor combination. I like the tarty flavor of the cherries with the roselle syrup on top, paired with the coffee and chocolatey flavor of the bottom, and intermediated by the creamy coconut flavor in the middle. I call this dessert Black Forest Magic. The pink and white dragon fruit combination turned out more beautiful than I expected. The pink flush of the dragon fruit bled into the coconut milk agar and created a nice ombre effect. I used my eyedropper to add some roselle syrups to the plate. The three layers are coconut milk on top, hibiscus syrup water in the middle, and pink dragon fruit puree at the bottom. I named this dessert Pink and White Dragon Dream. The banana and chocolate agar was another favorite of mine. I love the combination of chocolate and bananas. The top layer was coffee agar, middle layer was banana puree with coconut milk, and the third layer is chocolate and almond milk agar. I coated some sliced bananas with sugar and torched them to give the bananas a caramelized shell. I called this dessert banana split. And here we have them all, six beautiful and distinctly different agar desserts. Agar, or agar agar, is such a versatile medium to work with. It is much firmer than gelatin, so it has a nice chewy resistance to the bite. In Taiwan, they call this Q, or if it's extra chewy, they would call it QQ. I think that agar has so much more unexplored potential, and I look forward to experimenting further with this medium. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video and I hope that you'll try making some agar at home as well. Thank you for watching and if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.